Hello reformers and welcome back to Starpoint Gemini Warlords and our sandbox adventures. Now, we've just arrived at a nearby satellite that we obviously want to be hacking, but first we do have a skill point. Do we have a perk point? No, we don't have a perk point either. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately I only have one skill point, so I will be unable to advance our precision shot any further, but as you can see, it increases in damage exponentially and its range also increases very very nicely per rank so I'm very interested to see how much damage we're able to do with that. I'm gonna save that skill point until a little bit later on because of course one more level and then I can advance the precision shot once again. Anyway as you can see here we are now here and I believe yes Tara is also alongside us so hopefully we're gonna be able to make good use of her assistance and we'll be able to eliminate these fellows. Yes, let's do it. Okay, let's try and shoot. And how, how much damage does that actually do? I got a lag spike there, so obviously that, that doesn't really help. But yes, let's try and just pick up... Oh no, they seem to... Oh, yep. Yeah. How much damage does that actually do? I think it does a lot of damage to their shields, but unfortunately we're just... Uh, well, yeah, I think it's probably doing more damage against their hull or something like that. So I'm going to use my... Oh, look at that. That was a nice... What was that now? An ion torpedo or fusion torpedo or something like that? Let's just continue to use our ability. It does a lot of damage now. Look at that. It does almost 20% damage to this gunship. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so let's see if I can eliminate this and there we go nice okay so anyone else anyone else want a piece of me yeah there is actually a couple of people uh, this is a freighter how is Tara doing Tara is not doing well actually no she's not doing well at all she is getting absolutely murdered which is not very nice I'm actually unsure whether I should tell her to get out of here but I think if she does die she will respawn back at Concordia as far as I'm aware but obviously that uh, okay, okay. What I think I might try to do... That's an automated repair facility. What I might try to do is get over to the satellite and try to hack it immediately. Maybe I can actually tell her to run away. It seems like I can tell her to run away, so that's good. Now I can hack this. I'm going to try and hack this as quickly as I can. Thankfully, I do have hacking rank 3, so this is obviously going to make a huge difference to how fast I'm able to do it. And... Are we done? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so now I can go back to Concordia headquarters. How is Tara doing? Is she okay? Oh, no. Is she dead? I don't know whether she's actually dead. She's not in the area, but I did tell her to run away, so hopefully... Oh, uh, yes. Hopefully she has gone back. I, I, I can't see her at the moment, so I'm a bit worried. Because... Oh, no, no, there is actually someone behind us right there, so I'm not entirely sure. Is she still fighting them? I very much hope not. Very much hope not. I am still being tracked by some of these missiles, which is obviously not very nice of them, but... Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so... Let's just continue to send our civilian fleets all over the place. And I believe we are almost done with, uh, yeah, we are, we are almost done with constructing most of these things. Yes, I think we are. So now we have a good variety of different things. I'm probably going to try and get this other junk reclaimer because obviously, as you can see here, materials are the thing that we need the most at the moment. And then I'm probably going to try and get, well, I don't even need gas. I mean, just look at the gas that we're getting right now. We already have 1400 and I need more mining opportunities so let's have a look okay so I can attack this station technically as you can see here however it has an approximate fleet power of 16,000 so it's certainly something we probably don't want to deal with so instead we're probably gonna have to go to one of the other regions around here but I think for now what we're probably gonna try and do is we're probably just gonna try and get a pretty big nest egg of money and hopefully that is then going to mean that we will be able to buy a new ship and then progress from there. Because I don't know whether we have Tara's help any further. I don't know where she's gone. I very much hope she's just recuperating or something like that. But who knows? Maybe, maybe we're in a bit of a spot of bother there now. So that's obviously not going to be very good. Uh, yeah, it's not good at all. Okay, so... As you can see, these are the various ships that we will be able to purchase relatively soon. 
Now, the first thing that I'd probably like to get is probably the Hellion, because that's only 900,000. I say it's only 900,000, but in comparison to, for example, the Sigma, which is 4 million, it's a pretty good bargain, and it has 4,400 hull, so that's obviously going to prevent it from... That's actually... That's actually a lot better in terms of defense. Do I want to get the freighter? I mean, obviously that's... See, that's, you now here's the thing. If you look at the systems, look at the systems right here. The freighter only has a heavy and light battery, whereas the Hellion has two light batteries, two heavy batteries, and, oh, and actually three light batteries even. So that's pretty good. The Omicron has exactly the same... The Sigma is a lot better in terms of its armaments, but obviously that's 4 million away, so I'm probably going to go for the Hellion, because that seems to have the greatest combat prowess, I suppose you could say. So we're going to go to the jobs board, see if there's anything else we can do here. It seems like the search and destroy mission is going to pay us out the most, but do bear in mind that this search and destroy mission ooh, is level 7. We are level 4 at the moment. But I think we can probably do it. Unfortunately, I don't have Tara's help, I don't think. I don't know where she is right now. I, I, has she has she literally been destroyed? I, I don't think so. I hope not, at the very least. Is there a manage fleets thing here? I, I think I think there might be, but I can't find it at the moment. Okay, I think I think we should be fine to just continue onward by ourselves. I think we do have a pretty decent chance here. Now, the only thing that we could do, the other thing we could do is probably, instead of buying a new ship or whatever, we could purchase a new railgun weapon. And we could make it a very, very powerful railgun weapon. And that would probably help us out quite a bit too. But then you just gotta think to yourself, well then, I don't have more armor, you know, shields, energy, whatever you wanna say, so... It might be, meh, it's probably the it's probably a better idea to just go with the plan of getting a better ship because that's going to allow us to pick up more cargo as well, and we do have a little bit more HP as a result too. So I think that's probably the best plan, even though it's kind of it's kind of half and half because the gunship is really really fun and fast to fight with. Whereas as you continually, you know, upgrade your ship, it gets slower and slower. But obviously, as a result of that, you do get a bit of a trade-off with the amount of HP that you tend to have. And obviously the amount of weapons that you can use. So, yeah. I think that's probably the better idea, I guess. Okay, so we have to destroy this, which is a Corvette. Oh my. Okay, this might be... This might be more difficult than I would like. Yes. Okay, so let's see if I can actually deal with this. Do bear in mind, this is a level 7 mission, so it might very well be one of those that is almost impossible for us to do at the moment. I'm going to push this guy away. William Wallace, isn't that hilarious? Okay, so yeah, let's just push him away, and then we're just going to continue to deal damage here. I think this looks like a pretty decent way to do things. I'm going to continue pushing him back, because that will give us rather nice damage modifiers and everything, and my shields are holding up pretty nicely at the moment, which I'm pretty surprised about. Let's continue pushing him away. Maybe I should have actually taken care of the fellows behind him, well, behind me, actually, and that maybe would have made more sense. Perhaps. Maybe. Well, it, it, oh, no, well, we're doing a lot of damage to him. We're doing a lot of damage. Oh, who's that down there? Oh, oh, I think that's a patrol of... of something. I'm actually unsure what kind of patrol that is, but it's kind of nice to see that we have a couple of allies in this fight, and this guy's maybe attempting to go and assist. Well, obviously I'm not going to allow that, are we? No, there you go. We completed it. Fantastic. And we are now level 5. I really wish I would get a perk point. I really, really want that perk point, because I have a feeling that going for the freelancer skill would probably make a lot of difference, because that increases the amount of rewards that you gain from the freelancer, well, the job board, basically, from the freelance jobs and things like that. So it would be quite nice if we could do something about getting it, but obviously at the moment I do not have the capability. So I think what we're going to do is, that's an off-world prison. Now, I'm not entirely sure what you can do with these prisons, but I'm going to go by there and just see what's going on, but I'm also going to go to the next relay satellite, because you never know, there might be 
something that we can take, maybe a forward outpost or something like that. I do not see Tara anywhere, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried about this, that she has been destroyed or something. I hope not. Maybe I have to rebuild her. <laughs> yes. Oh, I do actually have to rebuild her. That is hilarious. Okay, so yes. I guess I will do that because she is fantastic and she can level up. Do bear that in mind. She can level up. So she is level 8 right now. She can level up as time goes on. So that's going to mean that she will be in a much, much better position to deal increased damage. And obviously we're level 5 right now, so... Yeah, she's going to be even better than us. So let's upgrade our precision shot. Now we have 3,600 range with this thing. That's crazy. That is really, really crazy. So yes, I would like to go for this. I need to be level 8 to get this. And as you can see, from now on, you will be offered more credits and experience on new missions in the jobs board, which is exactly what we're doing right now. And that's usually the best way to go about getting a huge amount of money and obviously experience as well. So hopefully we're going to be able to do something like that. And it seems like we have quite a fair way to go, don't we? All right, so we're nearing the satellite. Oh my, this is... Wow, these are freighters, and wow, they're actually pretty good freighters at that. Okay, I think what I'm going to try to do, <laughs> if I was a marauder now, I would be using my stealth and going in here and trying to, you know, get by and everything. I'm actually just going to disable my weapons right now. There really is no need for my weapons, so let's try and hack. And let's, let's just try and get done with the hacking and then get out of here as quickly as we can, because these guys are certainly not to be trifled with, not with my current ship at the very least. So let's do that. There we go. We're done. And now we can see everything that we need to see. And now we can get out of here. And my shields aren't even really taking a pounding. I mean, they're actually not taking too much damage at all. I'm kind of surprised by that, considering we are getting absolutely murdered. Okay. Maybe it's just because I'm a little bit lower level and the enemies are not really posing too much of a threat at the moment, but thankfully we're able to escape pretty easily as well. So let's have a look. What do they have here? Okay, so they do have a forward outpost. Now this is exactly what I mean. This would be a really, really nice thing to try and attack. This, however, probably wouldn't be. I think that's going to be quite difficult. And what's the, what's the fleet like? The fleet has a fleet power of 1700, which is pretty... quite a bit. Quite a bit. So I'm going to just see for a real quick second. How much fleet power does Tara give me? That's the thing. I don't actually know. So maybe we need to do a little bit of construction here. Shall we try and get a hangar module? We can't do that just yet. Yeah, we need a thousand materials. We might get that next week. So that's quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to continue sending out civilian fleets and things like that. And that's hopefully going to give us a good amount here and there. Ooh, lovely. There's another artifact vault over there. And there's also a research outpost in that region there as well. So that's obviously going to make a pretty big difference. We have a research outpost here too. But obviously I do need the research and development module level one. So let's see if I can actually get that. Can I get that right now? I can get tactical ops. I can increase my fleet power, which is not really necessary at the moment. Research and development. Okay, so I can actually get this right now, but do we want to either be able to construct our own ships or do we want to be able to research new technology? That is the decision we have to make, which is uh, rather difficult at this time because we are literally trying our best. Ah, there we go. Trying our best to just stay alive at the moment. Okay, so as you can see, Tara has 1,211 fleet power. That's actually really nice. So I'm going to tell her to follow us once again. And hopefully we can go and maybe attack that fleet and kill it. But at the moment, I don't think I have the appropriate power to be able to do that myself. So I think we're probably just going to spend a little bit of time just getting all of our constructions up and running. And I'm also going to construct the, the hangar and things like that once we get enough. As far as I'm aware, that's what we need, right? Where is it? There, there, no, there, there's the hangar module. There we go. So, I, yes, I just need a couple more materials. Ah, what's going on here? Okay, so I just returned back to Concordia because I wanted to go and, you know, see the jobs board, obviously. And now we have Nika saying, hey, boss, what's up? Okay, so, <laughs> yes, here you go. Okay, so this 
is actually part of the single player campaign at one point, so kind of spoilers, not really. I'm not going to tell you who she is or anything like that, but yeah, she's she's quite a cool character. So Trace tells me you're thinking of joining the Concord. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. This little alpha of yours seems nice enough. I think I might settle down, get a nice patch of lawn on Feneris, and put my feet up. Not really what I had in mind. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I want to join. Seems like you are pegged wrong, and I like to lend a hand where I can. There you go. Okay, so there you, there you are. So Nika now joins us as a war master. Oh yeah. So that is really really cool. I I actually haven't really fought with her just yet. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see whether she is going to be similar to Tara in the way that she runs around with her own ship and maybe can join us. So let's just see whether that is indeed the case. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, there you go. So she has a fleet power of 742. I would very much like her to join us. Uh, is that her? No, that's not her. Okay, well, I guess we're going to find out what she looks like very, very soon in her ship. Is that her? Yep, that's her. She's using a corvette, and she is rank 5. Very similar to what we are at the moment, so that's great. Okay, so there's our there's our freelance mission where we need to go. I'm going to just continually send out our civilian fleets, of course. Need to continually do that. And we now have enough to be able to purchase that well, hangar thing, but what I'd like to do, actually, is I'd like to launch an attack against this forward outpost. I think we would very easily be able to take this, but obviously the fleet in the area is going to pose a bit of a threat, so maybe we need to be a bit careful about it. Alright, so otherwise I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to construct another gas collector there, because... At the moment, I don't have any need for these materials. You know, I, I did want to build that hangar, of course, but I think at the moment, I just don't have the resources capable of sustaining building any of those things. So I'm just going to leave it as it is, and we're just going to fully flesh out all of what we have in our area, and then we're going to expand over to this forward outpost here and hopefully be able to capture this sector as well, because that has a bunch of really, really nice junk reclaimers and that is going to enable us to get even more materials per week and that's that's exactly the reason why we want to go for it so there we are we are very close by to the freelance mission hopefully we won't need to search for them any further and they'll just be right here yep there they are fantastic so this is going to be quite easy now because we have Tara and Nika helping us out. So I, I'm not I'm not saying anything against that. I'm perfectly happy with that. So now we also have a warhead. Now this is our ultimate ability technically, and you can blast your enemies in a large radius with a destructive warhead. It deals significantly more damage to distant enemies. So as you can see, it has an AOE range and it also has a 5,000 range on it, and max damage is 2,000. Now, obviously, at the moment, that is actually not that much, because, as you can see, my precision shot rank 4 is 2,000 damage as it is. So, I'm not entirely sure, but it's probably going to be advancing much, much faster than pre precision shot actually does. So, anyway, we're going to now head on in to the next sector, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.